EA dropped the year in review player pick again, a little bit cheaper this time. So let's open a load more of these up and let's see what we get this week. Are you out of coins for the brand new Shapeshifters promo? I've got nothing left. Well then head over to MuleFactory.com for the cheapest, most safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Okay boys, so today we are here with some more year in review player picks. EA dropped them again and this time it's cheaper, 85 rated squad, I think it's like 55 chemistry and no team in the season or informal leading. I don't know if you needed one last week, but you definitely don't need one this week. So today we're going to open up a load of these. I've got two of my main account, two of my RTG, some of your guys' player picks as well. So if you guys have also opened up yours, let me know in the comments below the player you got from your player pick. Are you going to use them or are they going to go straight back into an SBC? Anyways, that's enough for me talking at the start of this video. Let's get into the player picks and then I'll see you guys after. Okay, year in review player pick is, but I believe it's cheaper this week. I think it was an 86 last week and now they've brought it down to an 85. No team in the weeks or team in seasons needed. Not sure if you needed them last week, but as you can see, this is the first one I'm putting in for the number one of the player picks. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, 85 rated, 50 chem, 11 players in the squad. Let's submit it and... As you'll be able to see, we have completed our first year in review player pick. I might complete both and do them at the same time. So actually, yeah, let me cut back when I've completed both. All right, I've completed both on my main account first. We'll probably do both on the RTG as well. We're going to do the little flag reveal. So we're going to reveal each card one by one. Fingers crossed we can see someone good. I don't know who I'm really looking for. Like a player of the month from Bappe would be really good. There's some other players that I didn't complete that I think you can get in here as well that are also decent. But we'll find out. Hopefully, we can see a decent pull. All right, player pick number one consists of a German... Um, I think showdown, a German team of the season moments, and I can't remember who the uh, who is it. Is that line? I think that's like Lema or something like that on the right. So we'll reveal that one first. I'm pretty sure that's Lema. All right, here we go. Let's reveal the one on the right first. There it is. It's Lema. All right, we'll go with. I don't know which one to go with next. We'll go with the middle one. All right, the team of the season honorable mentions or moments German player. Who is it? I I genuinely do not remember who this is. Dorch. You know what? I've played against this guy a few times and he's actually pretty good. Like, when I played against I don't know about nowadays, but like a couple weeks ago, he was pretty solid. So, maybe I'll take him. We'll see who the other one is. All right, here we go. Final German player on my first player pick. It is Serdar. Yeah, we're, de we're definitely taking Dorch. I mean, he's the highest rated, so it makes more sense. Better for fodder if I don't use him. And he's also a pretty good card. I mean, three star, four star, but he's actually pretty solid as a CDM. So, that's player pick number one. All right, here we go. Player pick number two. We've got Portugal on the left, England and both the middle and the right. I already own the right English player. I've got a feeling that's um, Foden, which would have been a dub if I didn't already have it. Oh, it's Kane. That also would have been a massive dub. Sadly, I've already got him though. All right, we're going to go with the left one first because I'm not a clue who that is. I don't know if it's anyone really usable, to be honest. I, I can't lie. I mean, stats aren't looking the worst. Carvalho. I mean, it's not the worst card. All right, once again, not a clue who the middle one is. Genuinely, it could be like a... Gibbs White or something like that, actually. It's, it is. It's a Gibbs White. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's terrible. That's actually terrible. Honestly, I think I'm going to take Kane for the fodder here. I'm not going to use Gibbs White, so he'd be fodder. Carvalho wouldn't use him. He would be fodder. So, Kane, I might as well take as the 96 rate fodder and chuck him into whatever SPC, I guess, drops next. All right. Well, there we go. That's my two done on the main account. Dorch on the first one. Kane on the second one. We're going to open my RTG ones as well and probably some other ones as well. Let's see what we get. All right, shout out to the man, Leighton. Oh, he's on the Xbox AFK stream. Basically, we're watching his Xbox packs. I think he's got an 85 plus player pick and he's also got two year in review. So we're going to see what he gets from here. I don't know what the middle one is. It might just be a normal uh, player pick, but let's see what he gets from these four. All right, 85 plus. All right, not the greatest, sadly. I mean, yesterday, best one we saw was like El Sharari, but yeah, that... Dabala, I guess you're just taking for the fodder. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, you're not going to use any of these. So, yeah, definitely take Dabala there for the fodder. All right, this one's an 82 plus. You never know. You could get lucky from one of these. There's three 82s. I mean, the minimum rating. All right, let's just get to the year in reviews and hope these are better, okay? He has got both of them. First one up. Oh, Modest Nacho Fernandez or Weghorst. Oh, who do you take there? Who do you actually take? I'd probably go with usability Weghorst. Uh, obviously, Modest with the cool hat and that. Nacho Fernandez is definitely usable. Strong link to obviously Militao and Courtois. That's a nice little three triangle uh, with the centre backs and goalkeeper. But Weghorst is actually very good. He's actually, I definitely think he's still usable as well. And I think he's got a Weghorst there. Yeah, I, I definitely say if you want to use one of them, Weghorst, 100%. All right, second year of you. Literally, what, I do all three of these have better cards. I know Chiellini obviously just got a better card, a really cheap SBC. Timber has a team in a season. 
Don't know if Mavidi, D, I don't know if I pronounced his name right, has a team in the season. But once again, a little bit underwhelming. I'm not going to lie, a little bit underwhelming. Realistically here, I'd just take Chiellini for the fodder because you're not going to use Mavidi D or Timber. And you're probably not going to use Chiellini either. So just take Chiellini as the highest rated for more fodder, I guess. All right, yep. He's gone and taken Chiellini. All right, let's go see what I get on my RTG. All right, I've got my other two. Oh, sorry, my two on the RTG. We're going to do a little flag reveal as well here because flag reveals make it a bit more fun. Let's see what we get in the first one. All right, three options. Oh, my God, I think that's Deli Ali. That could be Deli Ali. I'm pretty certain that is Deli Ali on the right, which is a massive dub for the RTG. The left side, I, can't, I think that's Brozovic. Central, I'm not fully sure. But we'll do the first two and then leave, I think, what is Deli Ali on the right. All right, first one up. I'm pretty sure this is Brozovic. Yep, let's get him out of the way. That's 88. Brozovic, middle one. We're going to go straight in. Who is it? Middle one. Oh, Carlos Vea. Not the worst card, but let's reveal this last one. All right, please, please, please tell me this is Deli Alley. I don't think there's another one. I'm pretty sure this is like 99% guaranteed to be Deli Alley. Oh, yes. What a pull. Oh, that's beautiful on the RTG. This is one of my favorite cards. He is so good on this game. Like, genuinely, this flashback Deli Ali is sick. That's got to be one of the best options I think you can get from this as well. Like, there's some obviously other, like, other really good cards like Mbappe and that. But Deli Ali in the first one on the RTG. I like it. I like it. All right, second one. You got Ali to beat. All right, well, here's the second one. These aren't looking that promising. I'm not going to lie. But let's just go straight with it. I think this first one is going to be Dorch. Who we got on the main account? Yeah. Predicted. Is Goldson? Did Goldson get an upgrade? It might not be Goldson, actually. This might not be Goldson. Or is it? No, that's definitely not got. Wait, who is this? Ryan Ken? Okay. I, I mean, I didn't complete that on my main account, so I might just take him. And then the third one, I believe, is Timber. It could be someone else, but I'm pretty sure it is Timber. Yeah. Um... I mean, do I want Kent really? Probably not. I'm not going to use him, actually. I probably should just take Dorch for, like, the higher rated fodder to do more SPCs on this account. So, I'm actually going to take Dorch because, like I said, I can't remember the last time I actually played a game on this account. So, we'll go for the higher rated fodder. But Ali will try and keep in the club. Not too bad for the RTG. All right, our lenses is here. We've got another year in review. We're going to straight up open this one. What's this, number, like, seven, maybe, for the video? Something like that. And now, obviously, we're opening the 85 and the 82 plus. All right, let's see what he gets here. Year in review. Make it something good. Oh, Deli Ali, yes! Deli Ali, big dubs. Pick him right now, even if he doesn't start for you. Very good player off the bench to bring on in midfield. Like, that card is so sick, man. He's basically the English Hullet, like, literally in-game as well. He's literally like the English Hullet. He's so good. That is a brilliant pull. Deli Ali, <laughs> W. All right, shout out to my very good friend, Mr. Matt, XD Hefty. Uh, this might be the last one. We might have one more after this. In terms of these year in review play picks for today's video. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Paulinho, five star skills. Nacho Fernandez, like I said earlier, strong links to Militao, Courtois, like a good little triangle. Charisma, five star skills, but I feel like he's probably a little bit behind the curve now. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably take Fernandez or Paulinho. But if you're not going to use either of them, obviously take the highest rated for fodder, but it depends. Okay, he's gone for Fernandez. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's actually a very good centre-back card. There we go. That wraps up today's video on the second batch of the year review player picks that we've had over the last couple of weeks. So, if you guys open up yours, like I said, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you got in yours as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.